Hey everybody, do you want to draw a cat eating an ice cream in a hot air balloon? This idea came from Abby. She gave me this idea and I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to do it on my sketchbook. This is my big red doodle book and the kids are giving me ideas to what to draw. So I'm going to try to do this right now. I'm going to try to draw a cat eating an ice cream in a hot air balloon. If you want to do it alongside me, come on, let's do it together. So I'm going to start with a pencil and I'm going to draw a big hot air balloon. Just gonna create this big balloon-like shape. Can you see that okay? I'm gonna draw darker. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go around in pencil and just kind of make my shape. I'll erase all these lines. I just wanna make the nice balloon shape. So this is how you start. Make a hot air balloon. I don't know how this part ends, but just go like this. Then after this, you kind of find a center. Is that showing up? Yeah, okay, good, it's there. Okay, so you find the center and you go a little bit off and you just kind of come down to the center like this. Then you go over here, you go a little bit off and you come down to the sort of the center like this. Then you go like this and you're just kind of making sort of the shape of the balloon. We're gonna give it like a pattern. So you go like that and you go like this. Then you gotta pick some points here, like maybe here and here and you kind of just do some squiggly lines, sort of uh, follow like an arc like this, because you want it to look like it's in space, uh, not in outer space, but like in space. Then you go like this, you go like this. I'm making these little scratchy squiggly lines because it's fun. You don't have to do that. You can just do regular lines. So there we go. So now I have my hot air balloon. At the bottom of the hot air balloon, I think there's some kind of structural connector that keeps it in place. But then there are all these strings. I'm just gonna do a couple of strings. I'll probably end up drawing over it. So this is that. And now I have my basket. So over here, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna draw a cat eating an ice cream. This is all, I'm just kind of going for it now. Here's my little basket. I'm gonna make it not a super square. I'm gonna do like a little bit of an angle. See what I did? I'm gonna erase that, look. I'm making a little bit of an angle like this. So it looks like a basket. You can decorate your basket however you want. I'll put like a little line in the bottom, another little line in the bottom. Give it like some detail work. It makes it look nice. All right, now, where is this cat? <laughs> what I'm gonna do is this, check this out. I'm gonna do this. This is, this. I just came up with this idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna do one of the basket that has like a handle like this. So I can see the cat. No, I'm not going to do that. Should I do that? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. I kind of want the cat to look like he's sticking his head out of the thing. All right, let me try this. Watch this. I'm going to erase these lines. I know they're there. I'm going to keep it very light and sketchy. Can you see that okay? Let me see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to my cat. Okay, here we go. Now, let's figure this out. Forget this idea. Don't do that. <laughs> Draw sort of like a circular kind of shape like this. Yeah, I'm not gonna draw that line. That's the line, I wanna get rid of that line. I can't though, it doesn't seem to be going away. Draw like that. Then draw a triangle here, <laughs> triangle here. That's the cat. Now what I'm gonna do is this, watch this. I'm gonna make his nose right close to the bottom. Can you see that? That's his nose. I'm gonna make his eyes. I'm just gonna do little eyes like this. It looks more like a bear. And then I'm gonna do this. Look at this. <laughs> That's his tongue. He loves ice cream so much. And I'm gonna put a little line like this. And then I'm gonna do this. Whisker, 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 whisker. So he's eating the ice cream. Where is the ice cream? I don't know. Let's put it here. Maybe he has a paw coming out like this. Maybe you have a better idea for this because this is my idea. So here's his little paw coming out over the basket, but don't worry so much about that. And then here's this cone. <laughs> Abby, I hope you like this. And then look, there's, I don't even have my glass. I'm doing this without glasses on. And there's his ice cream. <laughs> look, he's eating an ice cream. Now I gotta color it in. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put orange and pink and this reddish color and this gray and a black marker. I'm gonna get a couple of these things. 
And then I'm gonna get this nice marker Mike got me. Thank you, Mike, for this marker. This is the best marker. I love this marker. It's a 1.2, I don't know, Statler pigment liner. This is a cool marker. It's kind of like, a, oh, I gotta zoom out again. Let's see, let's not forget to do that. One time I did a video, I forgot to do that. Now I'm gonna take this thick marker and I'm gonna commit to a curve. I'm not gonna worry so much if it gets a little scraggly because it's a hot air balloon. And the air is in it, so look what I'm doing. See this? I'm going like that. And I'm going like that up to the top. And then I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna draw my hot air balloon. And I'm gonna go all the way to the end like that. And then I'm gonna bring this line like this and I'm gonna do like a cute little detail. I, I think I wanna do like some, so maybe some detail like this. Look, little lines, that gives it a little bit of a nice kind of feel that you have yourself a nice hot air balloon. Then I'm going to take a thinner marker. This is like a brown, actually. And I'm going to use that for these lines. Look at this. This is so nice. Such a lovely hot air balloon. And I'm going to make the lines scraggly because that's how I'm doing it. And after this, I'll probably erase all my pencil lines because I want it to look like I really did these lines. That's why the, the pencil lines are just for me to guide me. Oh, I probably should have another line like this. Let's do that. Let's put another line like that. Why not? This hot air balloon has got a lot of cool facets to it. Look at this. Okay, then I'm gonna do like these things. These are fun to do. What do you think, Abby? Look, I'm doing it. I'm making a caddy and ice from a hot air balloon. <laughs> Abby, I hope you draw one of these things. And I hope you, if you're not Abby, and you should draw one anyway. Look, I'm gonna put these lines like this. And then this is gonna go behind. It's probably actually should go in front of the cat. Like that, put a little dot line. Now I gotta figure out the cat. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. This cat is like this color. It's like a brownish color. And I'm gonna put the ears like this. I'm gonna put a little detail in the ear like that. A little detail from my ear like this. This is funny. And then I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna get some pink for the tongue because he's really loving this ice cream. I don't know what color the ice cream should be. Maybe the ice cream should be vanilla because I want to keep the cone will be brown and the basket will be brown. So it'll be very confusing. So look at my cone. I'm going to put lines in the cone. Does it look like an ice cream cone? I don't think so. Like that was too thick. <laughs> Anyways, I love it. I hope you love it. This is my cat in a hot air balloon. Now here, look, this is fun. Watch this, I'm gonna put some detail here. Can you see this? I'm gonna do this, watch. Oh my God, it looks like it's floating. This hot air balloon looks like it's floating in the air. Do you feel it? The hot air balloon, this is like a wicker basket. I think, I don't know what they are these days. They're probably different. So I'm gonna go, look at this. I'm gonna make it like a structure like this, except I gotta be careful that the whiskers don't get confused. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of making a pattern that's similar to a cone, except now I realize that the paw of the cat should go like that. And I'm gonna give this basket a little bit of a thickness. And then I'm going to go like this. That's the wicker basket. And then I'm gonna go this way. See how this is starting to look, different angles. It's starting to look like a wicker basket, like one of those old fashioned hot air balloons. So good. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna color in my hot air balloon. I might speed that up. I don't know. You wanna draw a hot air balloon alongside me. I know sometimes when people make these YouTube videos, I just drop one of my pencils. They go, oh, we'll speed this up because no one's gonna watch. But you know, I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna color it in. You wanna color it in alongside me? Color your hot air balloon and uh, have some fun with it. So to color it, 
I'm gonna use colored pencils. I don't know what color I want my hot air balloon to be just yet. Maybe like an orange. And so you just pick certain shapes. Look, nice. And I'm gonna put some colored pencil first, really light, not too much, here. And then I'll do another one in this area here. See that? Look, nice. And I'm gonna go the shape of the, like the, the way I've kind of figured out the drawing of the balloon. Like this one, I'm gonna go down straight and out like that. So it kind of feels like it's vol voluminous, what's the word? Like a volume. I don't know if you know that word yet. What grade are you in? You might not know that, but when you make a volume, like a cube, you ever draw a cube or a, a sphere, uh, you try to make it look like uh, it's uh, three-dimensional, I guess that's the word. So now I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna pick orange from my first color, and I'm gonna color in some of the shapes, creating like a pattern, so every other shape will be colored with the orange. I guess this one would have to be orange too, this little piece right there, which is going back there, and then this little, little tiny piece right there, and then this little tiny piece right there. That creates the pattern. And this over here too. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about this part. Now I gotta figure out what other color I want, except before I do that, I'm gonna take an orange marker, and I'm gonna kinda go like this. I'm just gonna do some straight lines here like that. Look, see what I'm doing? Straight lines down like this. This way I'm gonna go curved lines following the shape. Does that look good? How does that look? Oh my gosh, I zoomed out. I zoomed in and now I have to zoom out again. Maybe I should zoom back in and move it down a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Look what I'm doing, see, watch. I'm going up here with a thin triplets fine liner and I'm doing this right on top of the colored pencil. This gives it like a kind of that volume shape, three-dimensional thing that I was talking about. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> Oof. I really don't know how to explain things. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to make it uh, look like um, shapely. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Do you know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? Look how nice this looks. On the screen, it looks really good. And then here, I'm gonna go like this. Oh my gosh, this is like the most beautiful hot air balloon I've ever drawn. This might actually be the most beautiful hot air balloon I've ever drawn, probably because it's the only hot air balloon I've ever drawn, but uh, definitely think it's one of the best. Maybe my second one will be better, but I'm not so sure when I'm gonna draw another one of these. Unless the kid gives me another idea to draw something else in a hot air balloon, preferably not eating an ice cream cone. What if this ice cream cone drops? What if this cat drops this ice cream cone and it lands on the head of a dog? And then that dog will be very upset because dogs and cats sometimes they don't get along. And if a dog saw up in a, a cat up in an ice in a, in a hot air balloon eating ice cream cone, he might get jealous that the cat's up there and jealous that he has a he or she has a ice cream cone. Here I'm gonna do yellow. I think I just decided to do that. I'm not sure if I want that, but that looks kind of nice. Yeah, look at this. Just make your own pattern. You don't have to use orange and yellow. I might use blue in the other side. I might, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but see what I'm doing? This is kind of fun. And now this yellow, I'm gonna take this yellow and just kind of throw it into the wicker basket here just to give it a little color there. This is really starting to come together. I wanted to use blue, but I, don't, I wanna have blue in the sky and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet because then it would have to be blue around here and you might even want to make a volume, I don't know, that whole volume thing I was talking about. If you kind of just hint at another line over here, that kind of looks like it's going up. There's usually a flame in there or something, but I'm not gonna do that because it'll melt the ice cream. Oof, I don't want the ice cream to melt. What other color should I put here? Maybe I'll do like a bluish color here. I know I said I don't want to do blue, but the blue will be inside. And so the blue sky, it'll give the, um, hot air balloon, some nice transparency maybe. I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, let's do it. What else? What difference does it make? Let's try it. Pick your own colors, make your own pattern. You can do anything in your hot air balloon. Just make it look like a hot air balloon. This looks really good. Okay, I really like this one. This is so good so far. Abby, I hope you like this. Abby, tell me if you like this or not. I like it. 
I'm gonna draw a sunflower soon because it's raining really badly outside and I'm gonna do this, check this out. I'm gonna turn my book so that I can kind of keep my arc because I wanna have my hands. It's okay to turn your book around. It's actually helpful. It gets you, makes you look at it in a different way. And then you can notice things like I just noticed I didn't finish that part of the yellow. <laughs> see that? That's why you should turn things around once in a while. You get to see things from a different perspective. So I'm gonna do this a little more blue. I'm keeping it very light because I'm gonna go with my trusted blue uh, tripless fine liner. And I'm gonna do this. Look at this. This is hard to see. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me zoom in. Oh my gosh, this looks really nice. This looks like one of those, there's no ink on this pen. I can't use this one. I'm gonna have to go with the darker blue, which I don't wanna do because that's too dark. Nope, I found another light one. I got a lot of these things. So let's see if this one works. This one doesn't work either. It's okay. I've been using these triplets fine liners with the kids during the workshops and they're chewing up my nibs. It's very important if you buy them, these markers to kind of not press too hard. I always tell the kids when they come to our workshop, don't press too hard with these triplets fine liner nibs, but they do anyway. What can I tell you? Kids are kids. So look how nice this looks. Look, when you do it like this, it really looks voluminous. Okay, that's it. I think I'm gonna stop this video because it's very long. Oh my gosh, it's 15 minutes long already. 16 minutes long. Can you believe this? It only took me 16 minutes to draw this thing. And I gotta draw a sunflower and then I gotta go get Lachlan. And it's raining out, so I don't wanna be late because I gotta park the car and walk in the rain. It's really raining, it's got a freezing rain. Be careful, everybody. I don't know what color to make the cat. Maybe I'll make the cat pink. Why not? It's my cat. I can do whatever I want. This cat's name is Pinky. Pinky the cat that eats ice cream. <laughs> I love it. This is Pinky the cat. And I'm going to get some pink. Oh, this is a nice light pink. I'm going to put the light pink marker on the ears. Now, you can't really tell. But if you look, see that little bit of marker? It gives it a nice pop up there. It's really good to use the markers and the colored pencils. And because the cat is named Pinky, I'm gonna do a little bit of pink line in here. That's gonna help give these uh, balloon shapes a little bit more pop too. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna cut this video short and I'll keep sending pictures online of what I'm doing here. And Abby, please draw, oh my gosh, look at that. Draw a cat eating ice cream cone and hot balloon. Come on, this looks good. <laughs> I'm looking at it through the screen right now on the tripod up here, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, Pinky, the ice cream cone eating cat, taking a nice ride in the hot air balloon. I'm going to give it this, just a touch of pink here to kind of give the cat some, oh, yeah, the pink is the arm, and the cone, I'm a little upset about that cone, it's a little too thick, but look at this, see this nice little detail stuff? Just gonna do stuff like this. This is nice, look, this looks good. Eventually, I gotta put a little bit more color around this entire thing. How to do that, I don't know. I'll be back maybe with an update to show you how I did this. I still might do other colors in this hot air balloon, but I kinda like the way that looks. Although, I should say that I really like um, hot air balloons to have a lot of pop color. So I might end up going over this, yes. You see how much nicer that looks? I might keep coloring with pencils and markers, maybe even a little paint, I don't know yet. But I really feel like it needs a little bit more pop. I don't know, something about a hot air balloon to have like, like a nice pop of color. Do you know what I mean when I say pop of color? Like this, look at this. This is red, oh my gosh, this is it. But I don't wanna do this right now. This is gonna take so long to do. But this is the red tripless fine liner, and you see the difference? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> Look at this. You see how that see how that pops? Look how much that pops. Oh, it's so good. I like looking at it in the screen. If I can figure out a way to draw by looking at the screen. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, and I'm gonna stop this video. And I hope uh, you draw a hot air balloon with a cat eating an ice cream, or make any animal eating ice cream. I don't know an elephant. Eating an ice cream cone and a hot air balloon. I'm not sure how much that hot air balloon would get off the ground. The elephants are pretty big. The basket would have to be really large. Maybe a baby elephant. Maybe do a baby elephant in a hot air balloon, eating an ice cream cone. Or you could pick a lollipop or something. I don't know, it doesn't have to be an ice cream cone. Abby came up with this idea to have it eating an ice cream cone, have the cat eating an ice cream cone. But you can have 
your animal eating anything. I mean, a piece of fruit, maybe uh, some broccoli. That's not bad. Um, the kids are eating vegan today in the public schools this Friday. Oh my gosh, so maybe it's a, a vegan snack in a hot air balloon. Sloth, you can make a sloth eating a banana. I don't know, anything. I mean, you can just look how nice this looks. Oh my gosh, this video is running very long and I'm gonna stop it, but I really like the way that red looks. You see how much more pop that's giving it with that little bit of marker on top of the colored pencils? It just really does give it a big difference. You should try this. So, so, oh my gosh, I just messed up. Look what I did. Look what I just did. I just messed up a little. I'm a little upset at that, but I will get over it. Okay, that's it. Pinky, that's all I'm doing for you right here. This is Pinky the Ice Cream Eating Cat flying in a hot air balloon. I still got to work on the whole sky and make it look like it's floating, but look, he's floating. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I hope you like it. Look, he's going to float right off the camera. Look, there he goes. Bye, Pinky. Okay, I'll see you guys later. He'll be back. Bye.